Hi guys, I'm back and I wanted to show you the painting from the other day. Um, it actually turned out where it did not crack, which I was really surprised about because it's you can kind of feel the thickness. The paint was pretty thick, but I did have a bug who decided to crawl from here down to there and put a nice dent in my painting. So <laughs> um, I don't know what to do about that. So this will probably end up being a painting as a background for something. I don't know yet. If you guys have any ideas, uh, let me know. And I want to show you the swipes I did uh, when I turned the camera off. They turned out pretty cool. I'm just going to use these for um, just jewelry at some point. And as you can see, I just do them on paint samples. That one's not real exciting. There's some pretty spots though. That one's really boring. There's, I don't think I can do anything with this one. It's, you know, it's mostly blue. That's kind of neat. That one's a little, little neater. I might could do like a, like a big pendant would be cool with this one. And some peach. And that one's kind of neat. It's got a lot of blue around it. One darker one. Another peach. This one's cool. It's one of my favorites. I um I let the paint I kinda held the paint sample like this and, and let the paint run down this side. So it gave me some cool kind of stretched out cells. And that one's pretty cool. I love that one. And that one's even cooler. And this one's my favorite. I love this one. I love these little caterpillar cells. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to make some jewelry with these at some point. And let's see. My skin. This was the messy part of it, which I'm not going to do anything with. But then this side is pretty cool. I did a swipe. Um, I just put some paint down and straight across it and so it turned out pretty cool um, what I was thinking with this is maybe like get some of those wooden circles and cut it out to the same you know same size glue it down and pour some resin over it maybe make like a cool uh, Christmas ornament or something or maybe some wooden pendants I don't know I'll set this aside and think about it for a while so on with what we're doing today Today, I was thinking I might try my hand at a geode painting. Uh, I've seen, y'all all have probably seen a lot of geode paintings um, lately. So I thought I would try my hand at it. Um, real quick, my website. If you guys are new to my channel, please go check out my website. Um, I've got my paintings, I've got some abstract paintings, I've got jewelry on there. So um, if you don't see anything there that you love and, you know, I've done a recent painting that you like and would like to have that, uh, just let me know. I can finish it up real quick and get it sent out to you. If you'd like to sponsor my channel, um, this is my PayPal link, paypal.me backslash heatherwright521. Um, and I would greatly appreciate it if, you know, if you guys would like to sponsor my channel. My email address, if you have any questions or comments or, um, you know, you just want to send me your, you know, shots of your work. I love to get shots of y'all's work. So, um, send me some emails or just, you know, if you want to tell me about your day, I'd love to hear about it. <laughs> so, so thank you for that. Um, and again, uh, my channel has just been monetized, so that means if you guys watch the ads on my channel, I get a penny or two from it. So that's kind of a way you can sponsor me without actually having to send me any money. So if you just spend like an extra couple of minutes watching some of the ads, I would super greatly appreciate it. Um, so on with what we're doing today, geode, painting, work of art, whatever you want to call it. Um, I didn't want to go out and spend a lot of money on all these brightly colored gems and break them up and you know all that. I kind of like, you know, I'm I'm an outdoors person. 
I love to hike and fish and hunt and, you know, just be out in the woods. So I love earth anything. Um, and I like to, you know, kind of help save the planet a little bit if I can. So I thought I would use natural stones from my yard because I have some really, I mean, as you can see here, these are beautiful earth tones. I love them. I'm just in love with these, these colors right here. It's this beautiful rust, almost like a garnet color. They do really look like rough garnets. Um, so anyway, went out in my front yard with Ella. <laughs> She's my little explorer buddy. Uh, we went out, we found all these different colored rocks. Took them over to the driveway and sat about sat there for about three hours breaking them up with which is the hammer and i have some like uh I, this is going to be my glitter it is some kind of like mica rock i'm not really sure um you know what they call it but it's like this really pretty brassy color and it's going to be my glitter and my little nora is the one that found this for me um so, and she helped me crush it up with a mortar and pestle. So this is going to be my glitter. Uh, I don't have much of it. Um, we couldn't find a lot of it, but still, it ought to look cool. We're going to mix uh, resin with these Artist Loft colors. I've got the Artist Loft um, Iridescent Medium, which I'm going to mix with a little bit with the Unbleached Titanium, and then I think I'm going to have a little bit just on its own. It's really pretty. And we've got the Burnt Umber, Old Gold, Red Ochre, Raw Umber, Unbleached Titanium, and Copper. So, let's get these out of the way. You can kind of see my boards here. Um, I've got my four boards. Um, and I'm going to, what I'm going to try and do is, um, I'm going to try to do like a whole geode on this one big thing and then separate them after everything's down with some toothpicks so they can dry se in separate pieces. Um, and then at some point I'll frame them in and you can either hang just one separate piece, you know, if you like the small size or you can hang them all as a, you know, I don't know what you call it <laughs> because like two pieces together is a diptych, three pieces is a triptych, but I'm not sure what four pieces is. I don't think it's a quad trip, but if anybody knows what four pieces put together like this is, let me know so I don't sound so stupid. <laughs> Okay, so I will be right back um, with my resin mixed with my um, my paints, and we shall see how this goes. Okay, I am working on mixing up my resin with my paints. I have my gloves on, two pairs. I feel like a magician in these white gloves. I love them. <laughs> um, anyway, I just thought I would show y'all um, that I'm mixing up the resin. You're supposed to put about 10%, no more than 10% of whatever your, whatever medium you're sticking into the resin. Um, because if you put more than that, it doesn't work quite right. So, and as you can see, my popsicle sticks. <laughs> They've been washed, but they're used popsicle sticks uh, from the kids and their popsicles because why throw them away? They're perfectly good. I've never had any adverse reaction to using them in any of the paints. So, you know, you guys recycle whenever you can. I'm not sure how, I'm, like, the paint looks really gritty along this edge here. Like in there so I'm not I'm a little worried about how it's going to turn out but everything is an experiment so we'll just wait and see and hope for the best this is copper so it might look a little gritty anyway okay two more to go this is gold so it'll probably look a little gritty too I don't know, they all kind of look a touch gritty. But we're using rocks, so the grittiness might be okay. This is gold, I think. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't look really gold to me. Thank you. Now that I've mixed it in the resin, it's kind of, I don't know. It's not real pretty. It looks like caramel. Yeah, it does kind of look like caramel, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. That's that clean. This 
is raw umber. Really super dark. I don't want to put too much of this in there. I really have no plan for this. I've been staring at this stuff for days, really. And I've been staring at this like setup right here for hours this morning, trying to figure out, well, partly procrastinating <laughs> and partly trying to figure out what in the world to do. Because I've watched a few geode videos, but it was a little while back. And now, I don't know, I'm just, I don't want to go through all this, you know, you don't want to go through all this work and then not work out. Okay, so that's all of our colors. Let's go. I'm going to take the torch to them real quick. See if we can't get just a few of the air bubbles out just to begin with. And it kind of heats up the resin a little bit, which is good. It helps it flow a little better. I can see lots of bubbles popping from the side. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's move that over here where it's not going to get destroyed. Yep. And I guess we'll just start pouring the paints on there. And I got these as tight together, I think, as they're going to. Whoops. Well, I did. <laughs> so hopefully all the resin's not going to just kind of pour down through the edges there. Oh, right, I should have just left it alone. Okay, just leave it. So I think we're going to start with maybe a little bit of this. I mixed the... Um, the unbleached titanium with a little bit of the iridescent medium for this. We're just going to kind of pour a little bit in the middle, I think. <laughs> and then, and what I plan to do when this is, when everything is all done is take some toothpicks and try and pry these apart a little bit. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe some of this like seriously dark brown. I don't know if this is going to end up looking like a geode or not. Probably will. Not. Nobody knows. It's a mysterious painting. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. Okay. Let's do some um, some of this, whatever this is. What is Red this? Red Archer. Red what? Arch Archer. I don't know how to say it. Uh, let's see. Ochre. Ochre. Yeah, that's a hard word. Red ochre. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to spread it everywhere. Doesn't mean it just wipes off. Well, sort of. Before it dries. Good idea. Get a paper towel. Everything like that. <laughs> okay. Well, let's try that. Maybe we'll just sort of instead. Whoops. Woo! Way too much. <laughs> Way too much. This is mommy. not it's not going as planned yet. Now it looks, but now it looks like a bird in the middle. Okay, that's just too red much, but that's okay. I really like that thing. This Let's do some of this. I can feel my resin already getting getting what? Kind of thicker. I kind of need to do this kind of quickly. Kind of quick. There we go. Can we use this one yet? I don't know if we use this one yet or not. Um, what, what color is that? What, is it a real dark brown or a light No, brown? it's kind of a medium brown. Medium brown? There we go. Does it look like this? Um, no, it's not. Like this? It's the burnt umber. Mm -hmm. And this is the gold. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Yeah, I like the gold color too. It's just so pretty. It's kind of like a bird in the middle with like little circles of stuff around it. This is really bothering me. So let's add just a little bit more to the center there. Alright. There we go. <laughs> this is just a mess. 
I wouldn't add too much, mommy. Or else it'll all just pour off. Well, that's okay. So let me just push that. Please, 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 gladly. Doesn't have to be perfect, right? Right. Doesn't have to be perfect. Let's do some of this, whatever this was. Um, let's see. Um, I think it was the copper and the red ochre. ochre? Yeah, I think it's that's together? what. I think it's just the red ochre. I think. Oh, wow. it's it might like not be. No, this is copper. That's copper. Okay. It's hard to tell. That's the red. This is the red over, yep. Yeah. I mean, they're so looking like alike. Whoa! I know, we ran off the side a little too early. Oh well. No big deal, right? No big deal. You can always just. A lot of this is going to come off anyway. Yeah. No, it's no big deal. Especially once we put the. Um, you know what? I don't know. Uh, we never explained the plan to me. <laughs> no, no, what? Oh, it's Tell all going me. that way. No, no, stop it. Uh-oh. It's all pouring off, Mommy. I know. Uh oh now the light's pouring off. Careful, Mommy. The light is pouring off. It's okay. A lot of it's going to pour off anyway. But at least it's not going through the cracks. Oh, no, it's going through the middle cracks. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, Ow, that hurt. Stumbled my toes on wood. Are you gonna do anything with that wood or what? I will eventually. The wrong piece of wood. Well, you really gotta move that. Please. I keep stumbling my toe on them. Okay. Okay. We're really running, running out. out of the darker. I like this darker stuff, but. Oh, yeah. We could just make more of it. I am filming, aren't I? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> if you did this all without filming, that would be terrible. I know. <laughs> okay, that's good enough for that one. A beautiful face of art, and then you just mess it up with no filming. Well, this is pretty ugly so far, but maybe it'll. I don't think it's ugly. I maybe it'll pretty. pick up once we Turn add the, the rocks to it. Yeah. Then it'll really look like a geode. I hope so. That's the plan. I mean, it already looks like a geode. Yeah, I think so. Oops. I mean, I really like that white. It's all sparkly. It is sparkly, isn't it? Glittery. Yeah. So beautiful. Oops. What? I'm dripping it in the. Dripped it in the red. That one or that one? I don't know. One the of copper them. or the red ochre. The red ochre, I think. Hey, I remember the red ochre. Yeah. You're a smart kid. Thank you. Uh oh. We're running out of space. I know. We're gonna go <laughs> in that space. That's, I'm glad we're running out of space, though. Can you use that white glass, please? That was a real pretty one. White. Okay, this is getting really thick and messy. You could just do one corner, one color, and then the other color, another color, and then the other corner, and the other corner, another, <laughs> and another color. Okay, I get it. Oh, gee, the resin is getting super thick. Yeah, I can hear that. Yeah. Thor, shh, buddy. Shh, 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 shh. Go, let him, go let him out the door, Why? baby. Why? That's okay. Everybody's used to hearing him barking anyway. Hey, she does that every time. I know. It's just loud and loud. Loud and louder. Okay. You're loud too. Hey. That's not nice. <laughs> You're kind of loud. Like that time we went to Omas 
<laughs> All right. Um, I don't even know what to do anymore. It's getting too thick to like drizzle around, so let's just. Hey, let's do something. Yeah. I kind of make a. That's cool. You know what I'm gonna spill away? I know that's what I'm hoping for. Just making squigglies. Yeah, but it's just gonna get flat again. Yeah, but it's okay. It'll make a pattern. Sort of. Um, I kind of lost all the dark right there because that's the corner of that one. That's okay. Alright, before we go any further, we probably should put yeah, some rocks we'll down. What do you think? Yeah. Is it time for rocks? Yeah. No. I hope. No. <laughs> no, you watch. I'll let you make your own geode, okay? Okay. Okay, let's try. Oh, I don't even know where to begin. Let's do this color. I, I love this color. I don't think there's enough samples. There are enough colors to do samples. Mm -hmm. that color. This just seems like such a bad idea. I think it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Just don't stumble them all together and then you get some color. Are you going to do Oops. it on the edges? Or yeah, just that one in there. Are you going to do it like on the edges around? I don't know yet. Just going to do it. Do what you're hoping for. And do it. I don't know. It feels right. That's a good thing. <laughs> do what you want. And do what you're hoping for. You can actually like do what you're hoping for. Do whatever it is. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know about that, Ella. It's going to be interesting, that's for sure. It looks cool. You like it? Yeah. I like it. I like it. I you use it. I like it. Huh? I'll use the natural glitter. Chill out. I just started yeah. using rocks. I'm starting to use rocks eventually. Yeah, I'll use the glitter. Don't worry. I just wanted to start with this color first because it was the coolest. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, all the rocks are sinking. I gotta put some more in there. No. I really hope you film this. I am filming it right now. Good. <laughs> hint, <She's that>. hint, hint. <laughs> we were talking earlier. Oh, it all video. went off that side. Oh, yeah. Bummer. Oh well, that's okay. Ooh, that's pretty. It went off the, on the side and um, the black mm -hmm. and the white and the dark brown and the golden. Oh. It just made, it just like, you know how you do Run that the thing in the top? circle? Yeah. In the circle uh -huh. and it makes that tree stump thing? Uh-huh. Well, on the side it did it. Oh, did it? That's yeah. cool. Okay. Let's and try the white. some of the white. Really did. White did it too. White did it. It's just men. Ooh, those are pretty. Uh -huh. hmm. LOL. <laughs> Okay, sorry I'm not talking to people, but I'm just kind of staring at this going, oh wow. This is um, not exactly what I, I don't know. 
It's kind of cool, I guess. Oops, I don't want those clear ones. Oh, no, they don't go over there. Whoops. All right, I'll just leave them. They seem to want to stay there. pick up some of that brown color. <laughs> this is such a mess. I might have to try one with like, you know, the sparkly colors. Just because everybody's doing the sparkly colors and smaller pieces are sinking into the resin. Okay, that should be cool enough. I'll probably have to go back and pour another coating of resin on these. Okay, let's leave that. Let's use some of these orange ones. I call these my little sunset rocks. I don't know why these rocks are the color they are. I think, I don't know if it's, you know, they're picking up the red Georgia clay color or what. But they're pretty, so I'm using them. I think this is the gold that I'm putting it in, but the gold doesn't look like gold anymore. No, I'm trying to escape. Some of the color just color, I guess. Oops, that is not. I want you. Whoa. Okay, I think we're about done with this. We're gonna put the glitter in there, a natural glitter collected by my wonderful little youngest child, Nora. I always love to help me when I'm out doing, oops, it's all just kind of going everywhere. I need probably smaller rocks for this. And an even table, because clearly my table is not level. 
couldn't exactly level these boards. They're just sitting on these little cones, on these little cups. Okay. I think that's about it for those. laughing but I can't help it. This is just, it's just, I don't know. It's not really, not really excited about this one maybe. I don't know. I mean it's kind of cool. Okay. All right. I think that, let's see, one more little look right there. That's that. Now, glitter. Oops, probably shouldn't stick my finger in. <laughs> I don't have much of this stuff, so I can't put too much on here. I don't want to let not have any for. There we go. Okay, so let's put some over here. Hopefully, I'll have enough to go around. Just a little like dusting of it. Hopefully it won't sink through this resin. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's see. I feel like I need one more little, one more little something around here, maybe. Okay, I believe that is going to be it. So let me fill in a little bit of this. It's lacking a little bit. Alright, that's it. Alright, so there is my natural geode. I'm going to try and move these apart a little bit which is probably going to make the resin sink down and kind of mess up what we've got going on here, but hopefully not too much because I still want it to be, you know, like one, one piece. If like, I want to frame all four of them together, but so let's just see if we can pry them apart delicately. Just far enough apart where they're not going to touch. That one doesn't want to let go. There we go. Okay. Come on, let go. They're buddies. They don't want to let go. There we go. It really did not want to let go. Okay, just a little further apart there. And then we'll kind of take the toothpick and see if we can shove the rocks. Okay. I don't want any rocks hanging off because it'll mess up 
when we try to frame it. I want to get some fresh gloves on. All right, so it kind of looks kind of cool. I feel like I need to run a toothpick, maybe. Through here. Just for some interest. And hopefully it will settle back in there. Give it a little bit more movement. And then we need to torch this, see if we can keep it resin back up. So it will, uh, you know, kind of smooth back out a bit. There we go, that's a little cooler. I like that. Okay. like I need something more on these corners like a hint more of something brown see if we got enough left over here it's a little thick but it's okay just that corner I think Feels like it needs something. Eh, maybe not. All right. Let's make sure we have all the rocks not hanging over the edge. But we want to frame these babies. They won't interfere with framing. And I might have to pour another coating of resin over these. I don't know. I kind of like the natural look of the rocks though, so. There we go. I think that's all of them. Okay, as you can see, I have my geode turned around. Um, something happened to the end of my uh, little film there. <laughs> so I had to uh, chop off the end of it and wait till the piece is dried. So this is a couple days later, the pieces are dried. Uh, I don't think I'm going to pour any more resin over them. I picked them up and kind of, you know, shook them off. All the rocks are there to stay. Um, the backs look pretty good. I'll probably take, you know, it's like a, either a little razor blade or like a, you know, something and just sort of shave these off or just sand them off, I don't know. Um, and then put these in little individual frames and uh, I think, I was thinking about selling them as separate pieces, but they look better as a set, so I'll probably just sell them as a set. Um, one thing with my natural glitter, uh, some of it kind of sank, so it's not quite as cool looking as it was when I first did it. But, it uh, for my first little geode painting, it turned out pretty cool. I'm definitely happy with them. I wish I'd had a little more of this, you know, to continue through here, but it kind of slid off when I separated the pieces. Um, and I think this is how, you know, obviously you can see it's turned from the way it was. I think this is how I would put it on the wall. It just looks better this way than the other direction. Um, you know, I had plastic on the table, which you know, I've just recently switched to and I wasn't thinking about the fact that you know the resin was going to was going to drip down onto the the plastic and then usually I just throw it away but I have all these little pieces here they really just look like a bunch of junk but um some of them what give me credit for the resin skins 
<laughs> I'm supposed to give Ella credit for the resin skins. I think because she pointed it out to me in the I first, did. first place. I did. <laughs> you know I did. No. No. Okay, okay. So, anyway, um, they, like, magically peeled off that plastic so easily. And I know resin is not supposed to stick to plastic, but, um, you know, it just didn't occur to me. So, some of these pieces are actually kind of cool. Um, this one especially. I really like this one. Let me give you a close-up of this one. I don't know if you can really see that well enough or not. Not really. But I just thought, like, maybe, like, in a pendant, you know, just sort of cut around here. I don't know. I don't know. That might be kind of neat. It's really dark here. You see a little better when it's, like, further out. But, um, you know, some of the rocks drip down into the resin, so I've got some some pretty pieces and they're kind of sparkly from the um the iridescent medium that i did in the white here that's what the white is it's not white paint it's just iridescent medium mixed into the resin and it actually turned out a lot cooler than i thought it was going to this is the iridescent medium uh it's from artist loft and that's what i used for my white so this piece is kind of cool. I don't know if you can really see the sort of sparkliness of it. Um, like especially up in here where the, the iridescent medium kind of poured over the red, over the copper, I think. I don't think that was either copper or red ochre. But I don't know. I'm going to do something with these little pieces. I mean, why not, right? And I've got all these little pieces. They're like little bitty. I don't know. I don't know what to do with those, but something maybe. Or maybe not, I don't know. So, when you're pouring your resin, keep that in mind, put some plastic underneath it, and save the skins. You never know what you could do with these little pieces. All right, so, let's see if I can give you a little close-up of this, since I couldn't give it to you earlier. So you can kind of see, let me get you in a little closer. My light's not real good up here, so let's turn another light on. You can kind of see, um, there's my, my glitter in through there, my natural glitter made from like some kind of rock that looks like a bunch of pyrite crunched together, a bunch of mica crunched together. I'm not sure what that is. It just came out of the, uh, I want to say the lake, next to the lake. And then there's my little white rocks and, and, uh, there's the iridescent medium with the white rocks in it and some more of my little natural glitter. And there's my pretty little sunset rocks my little rusty garnet colored box so all in all I'm pretty happy with this piece I actually like this one I could probably just frame this piece right here and uh, be happy with that because I like this one so there is my geode I hope everybody liked it and the little skins there um yeah it was <laughs> it was a lot of work crushing up all those rocks and, and everything but it was fun and I think I had like this vision I was awake in the middle of the night last the other night and I could not sleep for nothing and I had this like vision while I was drifting in and out of another geode maybe with some some more of this iridescent medium and I don't know some blues or something you know something but still keeping with my natural rocks because I like my natural rocks. I think they're cool. And I haven't really seen anybody else use use rocks they picked out of their yard. <laughs> so, but y'all know me. You know, I like to recycle stuff when I can. And I don't want to spend money on stuff that I can, you know, dig up out of my yard. So, interestingly enough, you know, it just occurred to me. I really could take some of these natural rocks and, I don't know, pour some kind of, like, colored resin over them. So, it would still be rocks out of my yard, but they would be a different color. So that's something to think about. All right, well, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers and all my viewers. And uh, I really apologize for that really epic fail painting <laughs> a couple paintings ago. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know what to say about that. I mean, it was a, it was a nice idea, but it didn't work for me. I've seen it work for other people, but, uh, yeah, it did not work for me real well. So, um, and I apologize. I can't show you the dried painting. There's not much left of it. 
um, it got cut up into pieces and the girls are doing some kind of little art project with it. So, um, um, so anyway, oh sure, Ella. So <laughs> I would show it to you. It did dry exactly like it was wet. Um, there were no real divots or dents from the alcohol, which I was a little surprised about. So, uh, I really don't know what to say about that. It was a cool idea and, and Trina, thank you for giving me a suggestion to try. I love doing experiments. So if anybody else has got any experiments they want me to try, you know, I'll be happy to. It's fun. Here is part of the finished work. <laughs> As you can see, it's, you know, it's exactly the same. It's just, that's her treasure map. She drew a treasure map. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, you know, it's completely smooth. There's no no divots from the uh, alcohol. If I can bring it a little closer so you can kind of see that there's really no dents or anything in it. But, you know, not real exciting. So, on to something new. For the next painting i hope wherever y'all are on the planet you are having an awesome afternoon i'm sorry this video went a bit long but it was my first geode painting so um you know when you're dealing with resin and all these other other materials it, you know it's just gonna take a little longer so i hope wherever you are you're having an awesome afternoon and uh, hopefully for those of us who are in the heat of summer the miserable heat of summer. Hopefully it will turn fall soon for us and we will cool down a bit and our paints will be happy. All right. Thank you to all my subscribers, all my viewers. Thank you for all the lovely comments and thank you all for the really supportive comments on that Epic Fail painting. That was, you know, I, I almost didn't upload that video because I was really sad about it and I was you know, didn't want to show it, but I did anyway, and, and y'all were really sweet about the whole thing. So thank y'all so much for your supportive comments. I love you all. See you later. Bye.